And Andrew Moran gets us underway. Sing for the Seagulls. There's a ball looking in behind for Shamir Fenelon. He might have a chance to get in behind here. And Shamir Fenelon can't quite control that effort. But did manage to break in behind. It's a warning sign for that young Albion defence. Bing can't quite make the most of it. It's Shane looks for the run of Moran in behind. And Dave's misjudging. It might come for Andrew Moran. And it's a good stop by Sam House. Moran looked likely to bend that one into the corner. But House made himself big and denied the Irishman. Fenelon. But it will come back to the yellow and green strip of Horsham. And here is Kavanagh. Maybe with a chance to curl one of his right fist towards the far corner. Palmed away on fast attempt by Beadle. It is put over the bar by Lee Harding. Racing in to pounce on that parry. Two goals to his name this season, but he might be looking to notch an assist here. And try and help his side into the lead. Several in there for Horsham. Richards delivers towards the far post and it's almost knotted in by Shamir Fanelon but just can't quite get the contacts on the header. Five forward in the box for the Albion. It's drifted towards the far post and pedges space here for Hinshelwood. And surely he has to do better there. Harding and his back pass is loose and it might be a big chance here. Zach Emerson racing away into the area. And he opens the scoring for the Albion. It's a mistake from Horsham. And one that Zach Emerson has gobbled up. A composed finish from the Albion striker. Beyond the dive of Sam Howes into the bottom right-hand corner. And it's Albion who take the lead here in Lansing. But it does come back to Hinchy who finds Kushane. And now Emerson might be away here and he's onside. Harvey Sparks appealing for it, but he's certainly on. Emerson breaking to the box. He's got Moran and Baker Bawati with him. Here is Benesio Baker Bawati. And his effort deflected into the hands of Sam Howes. Now Sessegnon. High cross into the box and Beadle's come a long way to punch it clear. And it comes back to Kavanagh who tries the dipping volley. And just can't quite keep it down. But it wasn't a bad effort from Tom Kavanagh. McConville. Now Wilson, he finds the ball out to Baker Bawati, who's got some space, and he's being joined by Nilsson. Looks to go inside and checks back the other way. Good footwork from the youngster, delivers it low, and it's only half cleared. And now Moran guys it back towards goal. And doubles the Albion's lead. And it's Andrew Moran, the Irishman, who dispatches that one beyond the dive of Sam Howells but what fantastic work from Benicio Bakewati twisting and turning his way through the Horsham defence and eventually it found its way to Moran who just swivelled it and smacks it into the top corner his day Richards sells Tom Day a little bit short but Tom Day continuing and goes for goal from range and it's it concerned James Beadle for a moment, but just uh, pulled out McConville. And now Sturge plays into the channel while Wilson is there. And there's numbers in this attack for the album. Here is one of them. It's Andrew Moran. And now Zach Emerson. And how has Zach Emerson put that one wide? Now, that pass a little loose. And it might be a chance for a break here. And it might go through. And here's Shamir Fenelon. A great chance to half the deficit. Oh, no. A glorious chance for the former Albion striker. Bryson won't mind at all, but Horsham need an injection of pace there to find a way back into this game. 2-0 still to the Albion. It's a Sané crosses it in, and it's not of the way by Hinshelwood. Now crossed in again, and it's headed towards goal this time by Hester Cook. But it's not got enough pace on the header to beat James Beadle. Uh, and Horsham win the ball back, and more of an open feel now as Harding receives it off to Sane. Harding delivers it low and it's towards the near post and it was Fenelon coming across there. Come back to Charlie Harris and that one's sliced away on his left foot. 
And that's one back well by Kasper Nilsson midway through his own half. And he's got options here. Kasper Nilsson racing away into the box. Drives it low. And it should be three. And it is three. Ben Wilson surely wraps things up for the Albion and sends them through to the Sussex Senior Cup final. Kasper Nilsson racing away on halfway. Delivered the ball to the back post and it's swept in by Ben Wilson. And now Sparks. Driving forward and now breaking his box is Charlie Harris and it's a great stop from James Beadle. The former Albion midfielder, Charlie Harris, struck it towards the bottom left-hand corner. Harris over this corner. Looks like he's going to dump it right onto Beadle's head. And it does evade Beadle. And it might be in there. It's no fair kick. And a spectacular finish from Tom Day. And that's his first goal of the season. And in some style, Tom Day... The corner wasn't cleared and it's an acrobatic attempt from Tom Day, the former Crystal Palace scholar. And he has scored against the Eagles' biggest rivals. And maybe, just maybe, with six minutes left in the clock. Towards the far post and Beadle half clears it and then it's helped away. And now Desane gets away from Miller. Eddie Desane! And James Beadle, for a moment, looked like he spilled that one. And that's given away and Spong's miscontrolled it. And there might be a chance here. Shamir Fenelon is deflected and oh! Tipped over the crossbar by James Beadle. The effort from Fenelon was blocked and it looped towards the goal. Man, but sets it to an Albion shirt. And now Zach Emerson can race away into the penalty area. Zach Emerson slots it wide of the far post. Harris clips it in towards Tom Day, who's headers towards the far post and only just misses that far corner. And at the end of 90 minutes is the Seagulls who down the Hornets, despite a spectacular effort from Tom Day. It's goals from Zach Emerson, Andy Moran and Ben Wilson that see the Albion into the final of the Sussex Senior Cup.